Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab. And there are two types of people in this world, those that have played Super Monkey Ball and those that have not. But no matter if you're a monkey target Chad or a monkey ball virgin, this video is for you. time of this video release, Sega, who are simultaneously the best and worst video games company ever, have just released Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania for every platform that matters, so that's everything apart from Stadia. If you have no idea what Super Monkey Ball is, but the various memes on Twitter have caught your attention, then I'll explain that first, and the Monkey Ball veterans who want to know what's actually in this new package, I'll get to that soon. So this is Super Monkey Ball, a game by Sega's internal studio that is also responsible for the Yakuza games. The core gameplay here is playing through various stages that involve guiding your monkey in a ball to the goal line. Once you've hit the goal, you're on to the next level. The levels start off nice and simple, but get progressively harder and harder. This is a collection of two rebuilt GameCube games that are regarded as classics. I'm playing on a basic PS4 here. It runs at 1080p and 60 frames per second. It controls really well, and my seven-year-old was able to pick this up for the first time and got to grips with it straight straight away. There's actually a lot of replayability here because the normal levels can be tackled in multiple ways and finding the quickest way requires a bit of trial and error. There is also a very good suite of multiplayer games in here too. Although there are quite a few to choose from, my favourites are Monkey Target, which is almost a pilot wing style mini game, Monkey Golf, which simply just doesn't need any description beyond that title, and Monkey Boat, which has a style that reminds me of Sega's Wave Runner, which I used to really enjoy. If you've never played monkey ball get this game it's fantastic and you'll have tons of fun with it but what about if you already know what monkey ball is well as someone who bought monkey ball on the gamecube on launch day played it to death but sold their gamecube a few years back i'm loving this joe from gamesack said the controls have a slightly different feel to what they did on the gamecube personally i've not noticed when i played this but like i say it's been a few years since i sold it so if there is a difference it's not that much you've got all the content from the first two games but let's be honest the second game wasn't all that good so you're getting it for the first game so to be able to play it in hd widescreen and have online features is brilliant and those online features i'm something i'm quite into i'm a sucker for an online scoreboard and super monkey ball now has an online ranking mode so you can now compete with everyone around the globe to see how far behind some japanese dude you are at each world in the game right now i'm 37th best on the jungle island world but i need to play more because i can definitely do it quicker than two minutes 30. There are other features like being able to unlock new clothes and cosmetics for your monkey as well as things like Sonic the Hedgehog but it's all about the core game and this new version more than delivers. Now I'm sure some of you would have already written in the comments that I've said in this video that this new package features content from the first two monkey ball games and I didn't even mention it has content from monkey ball adventure. Well okay yes it does have content from monkey ball adventure as well not that you'd ever know because no bastard ever bought that game. So in closing, Banana Mania, good. What would I give it out of 10? I wouldn't, because that's a stupid way of grading games. Just go back and watch the video again. Ah, bye. <laughs>